I've told the story a good few times now about that job where I kind of failed. I had the choice that I could have carried on with it, but I think I'd be clinically depressed by now. I could have just blamed everybody, but then I wouldn't have learned anything from it. The story really tells you why I believe in evaluating everything. It was bad. I felt absolutely miserable going there. I felt like I couldn't do a good job. I felt like the situation was wrong or that I didn't have the skills to succeed and to make a positive impact. I talked with one of my colleagues who I trusted and had known for a longer time. I said, I think I'd better leave. And she said, yeah, I understand because you'll, you'll end up like, and well, I'm not gonna say the person's name. That wouldn't be fair. Let's call him Paul. <laughs> and we both knew what she meant and we both knew that she was right. Whenever you hear me talk about that experience, you'll never hear me blame it on the school and you'll never hear me blame it on the other professionals that were there. You see, it wasn't my fault. I had the power to influence that situation. I had the power to change it. I had the power to develop my skills or else just to leave, which was my eventual decision. It's nice here, right? And this is the thing, I think a wiser choice might have been to actually evaluate my own skills at that point and my own career point and recognize that I was trying to punch above my weight and that I needed to develop as a professional and then I would be able to make those changes and make that impact that I wanted to. Or have the awareness to actually beat that retreat and say, all's not lost here, I've learned some lessons, it's time for me to move on. And that really was the best decision for me because one thing I did start when I was there was this YouTube channel and that has been the best decision I've ever made professionally. If I'd have just said to myself, it's out of my hands, there's no way I can influence this, it's everyone else's fault, I wouldn't have learned anything from it and it would have been a total waste of time. But as it is, I wouldn't change that experience for the world and I'm glad it happened and I'm glad I've got this story to tell. I can't imagine that not being part of my life right now. It might have been, it was a very negative experience. And as the saying goes, experience is the best teacher. But I want to thank Sean Cannell, who doesn't know it, doesn't know me, but has been a great influence on this channel. He does kind of YouTube <laughs> growth videos, but in a really positive and mindful way. And I really appreciate that. And he says regularly, although I'm sure he wasn't the first person to say this, experience is not the best teacher, evaluated experience is. That's why I keep making these videos, that's why I'm interested in more than just e-ink tablets and tech. That's what I want to offer on this platform, is a space to be mindful about your professional life and a space to, when you find yourself in those situations, to get someone else's experience, to put things in perspective, then actually that experience is universal and it's useful as well. And it's all a part of growing as a person and as a professional. And I would really love to hear from you. I would really love to hear if you have any similar experiences. I would really love to hear if you have anything to share about what you learned on the way, not just about difficult times, but about really positive times. I would really love to hear any questions that you might have about how you think I could help you or other people in their professional life. Thanks for watching Kit Best Masters. Mm -hmm.